So the title of this stream, assuming that it updated correctly, is Ranking WoW's Endings and Doing a Bad Job of It. I am totally going to do a bad job of it. I want to rank the endings. And I'm going to start off by just doing it right now without much rhyme or reason. Um, just off the top of my head. And then we'll see if this changes. Because we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this. We'll discuss it and... You know, y'all can be like, what the fuck are you thinking? Are you stupid? Vanilla is like, it's a, it's almost like an auto nine because it didn't really have an ending. <laughs> it just, it did have one last raid and one last quest. And like, that was it. Remember, I'm just starting this. This, th th this will change, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, later on, dot, dot, dot. So I'm just doing this right now to see how, how I feel about this. Uh, eight was um, bad because to me, it was bad because hardly anyone got to see it, right? Hardly anyone got to see this because this is like pre-Raid Finder or whatever. Uh, and, and there are still no cinematics between these. So that's kind of my basis for that. Uh, I want to say so far Legion is number one. Uh, Wrath would be number two. And then it gets tougher. <laughs> so it's, um, Shadowlands, there's still a little bit more. But this, but Shadowlands is pretty low on the list. I'm gonna go with Warlords as, yeah, Warlords was bad. BFA is a mixed bag because it, because the way I see it, BFA had two endings, eight two five, and eight point three. I should be faster. I, I I shouldn't be so thoughtful on this. I just need to like decide six, because I didn't like that. Five felt empty. Now, between these two, which one did I like better? Kata or Mists? Kata or Mists? Four, three. So this is my current ranking. All right. So far. I liked Legion because it had a certain finality to it. I think it was very fast. It was a very fast ending. Just like many things. Wow. They <laughs> premature endings is is kind of wow's thing but i'd say but legion felt felt best because it you know it had that sort of like it, it had a real climactic feeling to it you know we're, here we are legion's home world we're taking on ridiculous things at this point wow thanks artifact weapon you know hey ashbringer did you realize that you were gonna go this far i did not sir well here we go uh wrath also had a very fine, you know, a, a pretty final ending to it. To me, it sort of missed the, it kind of missed the mark because at the last second, it humanizes Arthas when he lacked that humanization for a long time and all of a sudden it comes back. That kind of came off as a little bit weird. But as for like a cool moment, I thought that was a cool moment. The rest, you know, it, it, it's, the rest feel a little arbitrary. Because Legion and and Wrath, they feel so far ahead of everything else here. Maybe I should say Vanilla and Burning Crusade don't even count. But yeah, Legion and, and Wrath, it, they were just at like a different level. And not even to say that uh, World of Warcraft writing is like superb, you know, fucking masterpiece. Uh, because I, because like I said in an earlier thing, I don't have that sort of emotional attachment to to story in most things, and so maybe I'm looking at this with a very with a more cynical lens overall. I want to make that clear. But yeah, those those first two, they just feel like way ahead of of everything else. Mists did have that sort of finality to like to me. The raid was great. I loved the build up to the raid and the moments that were there. As we're, as we're fighting, you know, horde people, they were fighting their own people, you know, we freaking, you know, Nazgrim's blood is on our hands and, and that sort of thing. Um, it felt spoiled because of the ending cinematic, though. I wasn't too keen on, uh, it's like, oh, this is it, this is it. Then Chang, oh, oh, Varian put a stop to this. Wow, wow. Mr. Anti-Violence all of a sudden, okay. And, and it left that ending like a bit open and yeah you know, I'm, I'm trying to remember someone had talked about they wanted to have um the trial of garage in game but they it just couldn't fit 
they couldn't really fit, fit it in there, which was unfortunate. It would have been really cool if they could have those moments in there. Because instead, we just had it in the book. I guess that was it. Like, like even though Mist gets a three, uh, I felt like the, yeah, it could have been it could have been like one or two if we could have had like the trial of Garrosh on there and we could have had more of those moments on there. Would have been would have been way fun. Uh, Cataclysm was one of those. It, it, it very much defines the whole, you know, you did the work champion, but I'm going to get all the credit because who gets the credit for all the aspects and stuff. You know, they did all the and they did all the cinematic work. The last raid, unlike what's it called? Uh, unlike Siege of Ogrimmar, uh, the last raid, it, it didn't quite have that same cool feeling. I think it's maybe it's because I didn't get caught up in that lore very much. It's like, okay, we, you know, during the last patch, we did all this time travel doohickey shit to get the MacGuffin disc so we can, so we can finally finish, uh, finish this expansion and uh, move on. What, what, what sort of turned me off was the last line from, I believe it was Alex Strauser who said, you know, oh yeah, the age of dragons is over. The age of mortals is here. Paraphrasing for sure. And that felt really cheesy. I'm like, age of what makes this the age of mortals now? Like, yeah, it's whatever, because Deathwing was gone, uh, and whatever. Yeah, it, it, it felt like not catharsis, but more relief when we beat it. Which I guess is okay, because the Legion had that sort of same thing too, but it just didn't have uh, as cool of a moment. Um, I think trying to make the fight feel epic in its in, in the whole grand scale of okay you got spine and then you got like the last part um you know that part felt pretty cool because you had npcs participating with you so there was like there's like a certain coolness there but I, I think there are a lot of there are a lot of little bits of dissatisfactions there too fifth was bfa um part of me liked it fine because well we got to fucking ray gun <laughs> Ray Gun Nazoth. I'm like, oh, so the chamber's actually a giant cannon? That's kind of neat. Um, but it was also very brief. Um, and it didn't do a great enough job to pull everything else together. I think I think if the cinematic was longer, and instead of just talking and instead of just showing the death of Nazoth, it had a sort of anime sort of feel. Kind of like what they did with Shadowlands. Uh, if it had an anime sort of feel of flashing back to all the things that Nazoth did that led up to that point of womp, 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 um, that would have felt that would have felt better. But I mentioned earlier that BFA, I felt like it had two endings uh, that that 8.2.5 with the uh, with the concluding battle of you know, of the fourth war with Sylvanas versus Sarafang. He gets blousted. That had that felt very satisfying to me. If the expansion ended there, uh, and if there was if there happened to be a raid that accompanied or that that came before that cinematic, it, this would have shot to like almost number one. It would have been up there, cause oh man, that build up, um, while while the war itself was very haphazardly handled by 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 the writing and the way it was communicated in game, uh, just that moment would have like I think I feel like it would have made up for that if the expansion ended with 825. I think I might have, I think I messed up my numbers there. Uh, but if it ended with 825, that would have been like really cool. But we had to throw in 8.3 because we had, because the expansion was telling two two stories. Shadowlands is still kind of up in the air. I think, I think a lot of us are still slow reacting to it. I think this comes from the dissatisfaction of the story overall, not necessarily the ending cinematic. It's like, if it felt like a dud at the beginning, I would be shocked if I suddenly came out of this being like, whoa, so now it all makes sense. Nah, not really. The, the, the problem for me was fundamental. I talked about this a little bit yesterday that the sense of Shadowland, it, it, it's very high level. It's very abstract. You know, we were, we were overwhelmed with all these new things to learn at once. It's not like going into a new land or a new continent and meeting, you know, bear creatures. This is what happens when we die. Damn, dude, that gets heavy. And what we saw throughout Shadowlands was this deconstruction of 
what was like a mystery into here's how it works. Um, here's like the machine and how it operates. And it is effectively a machine. We're seeing the demystification or the undeification. That's not really a word. We're seeing these deities. What we think are as deities. And now it's like, oh, they're not. They're just kind of like constructs. And we don't know if there's like a high. It's, it's as if a religion was suddenly turned upside its head because we learned the truth of whatever. Oh, it, oh so it's not like this. Okay. So I think that left a, a lingering taste, a lingering dissatisfaction in players that made the ending, no matter what it was, just not feel great, no matter what. As for, you know, specific to the ending itself, it wasn't bad. It kind of, it, you know, it, it kind of wrapped things up, but it was like wrapping. <laughs> it's like it wrapped things up, but it's like wrapping up a turd if you want to. Uh, if I wanted to be really cruel about it. Out of all the expansions, though, that actually had an ending, Warlords was the worst. Still. It feels like the absolute worst. Something something Draenor is free! I'm like, dude, you were captured that whole time. You were participated as an NPC in one fight, and before that, we were trying to find and kill your ass. And we didn't end up killing your ass because we don't know. And all your friends are dead. We killed all your friends. How about that, buddy? That that felt that felt doo doo. Um, you know, the last boss is like surprise, our command. <laughs> I mean, we knew the demons and all that stuff. We knew that was coming, but it wasn't. You know, I was expecting, hey, we're gonna fight Gul'dan. Yeah, let's go. You know he's been a he's been a thorn on in our side. We're gonna we're gonna blast this dude. Nope, he's gonna he's gonna open up space and drag a dude in there to like do his dirty work. And even then, he's still just like a pawn. And Archimon's like, oh no, off you go into the unknown. And then Draenor is free, but apparently not. <laughs> after after so like that just made the ending even worse. It's like we left. We left Draenor, uh, you know, setting itself up for something even worse in the future. So that's my take so far. You know, my my ranking of these things. Um, I guess I guess even though I said Vanilla and Burgundy Crusade, even though I ranked them last, I guess they don't. They they shouldn't really count. No, I guess they should. It it, it just did. It, it just doesn't feel. Yeah, I, I I think I'll have to redo these. I'll have I'll have to rethink these. So. We'll, 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 we'll redo these rankings. But I just don't have very high marks for these because one, I didn't play through them. But I guess I shouldn't rank them based on, well, they didn't have a proper buildup and blah, blah, blah. So I, so I guess that's not fair. Oh yeah, maybe I'll do a tier list. Oh yeah, that might, that might be a good idea. Maybe doing a tier list would be better. Are these proper images? Oh, they're cut off. Oh, that's just hideous. I'm so picky. <laughs> Thank you. I should not be an ungrateful little shit. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to tear this bitch up. We're going to we're going to tear it up. <laughs> That's so fucking clever. Okay. All right, round 2. We will tear this thing up. So, the way that I had it was uh Wrath and Legion were like yeah. No, no proper ending. So that's where that's where this goes. Um. Yeah. So TBC, you know, it, it did have an ending, right? It had a build up, so mostly. You know, Tempest Keep was just a setback. Blech. And what did I have? So I had Warlords down here. I had um. Well, that was down here. That was down here. Well, I'll just put all these down here for now because I'm like forgetting. So mist, mist was like here. Uh, and then Cataclysm was kind of at that level. BFA. And then Shadowlands and Warlords were like down here. Where would TBC go, though? Throw down mist, Cata, and oh, oh, you mean put them like here? <laughs> 
pretty much. Um, I think I want to put TBC up here. I'm just talking about like um, the things, not not the expansions themselves. That looks good. Yeah, because I, I really want to put that degree of separation between what I think are the best and like the best and the rest. I know we kind of watered this down with a tier list instead. Uh, vanilla should be lower. Lower? It's already at the bottom. <laughs> Uh, Kata's ending was a little cheesy, but I would put it in the overall the overall ending experience in the B tier. To me, Shadowlands and, and Warlords definitely sit at their own level. You know, they're at their you know they're, they're their own thing. Even if Shadowlands is still kind of up in the air, how should I label these? Let's go with forgettable. Well, that happened. This, this says something because the, t the best expansions are just good. And that's kind of what I want to communicate here. You enjoyed both BFA endings. The Makara was fantastic and watching my team go all DBZ and stuff. Um, the Nizoth thing really spoiled it. Uh, like, like to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of back and forth between decent and will that happen yeah 825 just did so much to elevate it but man the the, the Zoth stuff kind of kind of killed it for me see that's not fair man because freaking it had two expansions yeah though yeah the i think i got a i think i got a lot of satisfaction this was linked by the way so feel free to make your own list too and uh and, and share it agreed to disagree i just found the friendship beam so deflating nah to me that was like that was like Azeroth's fucking urinal cannon sit on Azoth's face and just cut loose. Mm -hmm.